we know that um, one of the things, of course, that is vital here is we've got, yes, we've got all the adult people here, but actually the people we're doing it for are the young people, right? Absolutely. Okay, so yes. could I invite you to address them specifically? Yes. Before you do, could we have the lights in the auditorium on? Could everybody under 30 please rise? And the others, don't worry, we're not disclosing your age, we're just disclosing the 30, the 30 cutoff, 30 year cutoff. Okay? So these are the people we're doing it for. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. I would like to, to start by um, thanking uh, His Serene Highness for hosting us and giving so many of us the opportunity to come to beautiful Monaco. Thank you very, very much. I want to greet also uh, Felix. I want to greet children and youth, particularly, and also greetings to all of you. It is for me, indeed, as a UN official, indeed a great pleasure and a very special privilege to be part of this very amazing group of people. Since the beginning of time, indeed, young people have been agents of change in all transformations in history, in all relevant moments, the youth has played a major role. And with this contribution by the youth, the world has become a better place. Yes, it is true, we still have a lot of problems around the world. But it is also true that for the first time in history, we have less war, less starvation, less poverty, and less violent crime. Doesn't mean that we don't have problems. We still have all these problems to overcome. But it's important to remember that there is a contribution that has already been made. So more people live longer. We know that, for instance, uh, life expectancy has become, in some places in the world, a problem because people live longer and therefore they demand other types of support. Um, more people live also enjoy happier lives. That is also true. More, but not all. And uh, we have achieved this because each generation has addressed challenges unique to their time. And um, yes, the challenge of your time for the youth is climate change. You didn't ask for it. You didn't provoke it, but it is largely yours to solve. And it is largely up to you to do the pressure so that the people that are now today in decision-making capacities can take the right decisions. And just like previous generations, I am convinced that you will come up against those who say, this is too big of a problem to be solved and not particularly by you. So don't listen to them. That's only noise. You can do it. And we have a good framework to work on that, which is the Paris Agreement under the Convention. The Paris Agreement provides us with a fantastic framework in order to maintain global warming as, as close as possible to 1.5 degrees. But beyond that, beyond the, the temperature goal, it is really a promise to create and to have a world that provides opportunities to all of you, the young people of today, the children of today. We, my generation, we will be gone, but you will be here. So, but we have very little time. And this is why we all must, like you say, stop talking and start planting. And this is why planting trees is a, just a fantastic way for youth to make an incredible contribution today. So planting trees um, is planting hope. Planting hope that we will have a better future. Planting hope 
also that we will be able to change the mindset of people so that people go into change into more sustainable lifestyles and we can get to the low carbon world where trees will be there, you will be there, and all bio biodiversity will be there. So thank you very much. This has been awesome. Thank you very much for being with us. Okay.